Hi there, I'm Miko Neiman. I'm with Century 21 Hometown Realty. And I'm April Hugh. I'm with Century 21 Hometown Realty. And today we have Wendy Fox in, Vice Yay. President of Community Bank of Santa Maria. That's right. Welcome. All right, welcome. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> that was a mouthful, huh? I know. Like, well, I love <laughs> Community Bank. <laughs> Community Bank of Santa Maria. Yeah, so how long have you been in the banking business? I have been in the banking industry for 38 years now. Oh, wow. wow. And I've been at Community Bank of Santa Maria for the last 12 years. So uh, I worked at the original Bank of Santa Maria yes. in the 80s for quite a few years. And then life, you, you kind of leave the area and come back. And I came back and last 12 years I came home. Yay, <laughs> oh, that's great. Good. That's great. Good. So All you right. primarily do commercial loans. Commercial loans. Mm -hmm. And so kind of, what does that involve as far as a so commercial loans are for commercial real estate. Um, that could be retail, industrial, um, uh, commercial construction loans, okay. anything that's not a house <laughs> is primarily, you know, it would probably be commercial or in industrial. Okay. And that commercial loan products are completely different from residential mortgages. So. Well, can you, what's one big difference that you can share with us? So a residential conventional mortgage is a fixed rate of interest for 30 years, mm -hmm. and a commercial real estate loan is tied to the Wall Street Journal Prime. Okay. So, and a lot of people might have heard of Prime Plus One, Prime Plus right. Two. For example, Prime right now is three and a quarter, and we're offering Prime Plus One and a Half. So on a commercial real estate loan, the initial rate would be 4.75. Okay. They're amortized over 25 years with the 10-year balloon, and then we can lock the rate in right now in today's market for the whole 10 years. Then at the end of 10 years, if they have a balance, which is the balloon payment, we just pick that balance up, refinance it over 15 years, and then they're done. So it is considered a variable interest rate product, even though it's locked for 10 years, um, versus a fully fixed for the whole 30 years on residential. Gotcha. Do you, um, I just lost my question, um, <laughs> um, do you service the loans as well? Yes, so our commercial loans are Community Bank of Santa Maria's, okay. it's our own loan product, so they stay at the bank, we do not sell them off. That's another example of the difference between residential mortgage. Those are usually brokered out and our okay. loans stay at the bank. So okay. I deal with the customers directly. I underwrite the loans, I approve them, and the customers then become my customers, and they come here to make, come to the bank to make the payments, oh, wow. and they're really happy about that because it it stays locally. I was going to say it's very personal and very local. Personal. Mm -hmm. Now, when uh, someone's going to get a commercial loan, is there a minimum down amount typically that they have to have? Yes. So we'll finance up to seventy-five percent of the purchase or the appraisal, whichever is less. Okay which then of course that would be a 25% down payment. So that's the typical pricing for commercial. Now do you go through the typical steps, get an appraisal, all of those steps? Yes, so the application process is a personal financial statement and we have those forms and we help our customers fill it out. And then we like to get three year tax returns. So we'll crunch numbers and make sure that they qualify with what the proposed payment would be. And if they're happy with our terms, then the next step would be to order the appraisal. And that takes about four to six weeks to, to come. Oh, wow. So yeah, commercial, there's the commercial appraisals are very involved. It's mm -hmm. very, very thick. They look at sales approach, income approach, cost approach. Um, so four to six weeks. And then as soon as we have the appraisal and the value supports the loan amount, then we need 48 hours to order loan docs because there are loan docs and we'll sign the deed records the next day and they wow oh. so that's a different that's, yeah. scenario yeah that's so, nice so basically you're you're looking at a six-week escrow i get for commercial we like to have at least 45 to 60 day escrow right. we can close within four to six weeks okay. but just that extra room yeah, just in case because yeah. maybe the appraisal didn't come in high enough and now the bar, our loan amount would have to adjust maybe right. lower and they may have to come up with more funds. So, so yeah. I had a commercial transaction last year and the buyer ended up getting an SBA loan 
and it was right when COVID hit and everybody in the whole country was getting an SBA loan. <laughs> and it was so hard to get through the process, but they called out a phase one, they at the SBA called out a phase one environmental report. So do you have that happen to you? Sometimes, so um, on a loan, typically about 500,000 or more, we order a report online, it's called VeraCheck. Mm -hmm. And that's a condensed report that will tell us if the property itself or the surrounding properties within like a three to five mile, five mile radius has environmental concerns. And there's a risk, a risk score one is typically no further action needed, it's a clean property. Okay. Risk score two could say, hey, next door is a dry cleaner, yes. we need to check for some environmental concerns. Okay. And the higher the score, the higher the risk, and then they could tell you if they would recommend a phase one or a phase two. Okay. So this VeraCheck is really handy that just right out the gate, the property's clean or there are some mitigating factors and we need to do our due diligence to find out. Now, are there local um, environmental people in the area where yes. you could just pick up the phone and call? Yep. Some? yep, I can't think of the name of the company That's offhand, okay. but there's one or two right here in Santa Maria. Okay, oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, and they take about two to three weeks to come in. That's pretty mm -hmm. pricey too. It's pretty pricey, mm -hmm. so it's an added expense on top of the appraisal and closing costs for the borrower. Right. But it's for their protection, mm -hmm. it's for the bank's protection, so right. we really want to you know, cover those issues if there are any environmental concerns. So you said closing costs and appraisal. So what, so because the appraisal is so involved, does it cost more than it say? It costs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cost? You know, depending on the property, if, um, you know, if you're looking on, at a commercial lot to build a future building, uh -huh. you'd probably be looking at 1,000 to 1,200. If you're looking at just a freestanding building, it could be 2,000, 2,500. If it's a, 16 unit apartment complex, it could be three to $5,000. Wow. Yeah, okay. so commercial is definitely a pricey appraisal range. Interesting. Yeah, so that's wow. great. Okay, and yeah. Do you think that most of your um, clientele are local people right now? Or yes, it, so it's typical Community local? Bank of Santa Maria's lending territory is Santa Barbara and San okay. Luis County. Um, our main clients are Santa Maria, some in Lompoc. Um, we do go out, Napomo, Five Cities, San Luis Obispo. Um, if, it's, if there's a banking relationship with one of our customers and they wanted to build a house at Lake Nascimento and they, we already have an established relationship, mm -hmm. we'll go far as, as north as, of that. But um, typically Santa Maria and the neighboring cities is our lending area. So you would go ahead and do a construction type loan if it was if it was a, a, a established customer? We'll do a construction loan, um, not even for an established customer. Oh, okay, so okay, we'll, I misunderstood you. Yeah. Um, uh, more out of our lending territory is like Lake Nascimento, let's say, up in right. Paso. That's not a typical lending area for us, okay. but if it was a bank client that was already banking with us, we're, okay. we're, yes, we're gonna help you build your lake house. If it was a brand new customer that wanted to do that, that Paso Robles is a completely different market than the Santa Maria area, so okay. we wow. tend to not go up there. Okay. Um, but any brand new client, um, if they want to purchase a residential lot or commercial lot, we do residential lot loans, and then it flips to construction loans. So we do residential and commercial land and construction loans. Okay. Okay, and, that's good to know. Yeah, and then um, those are were, those are more short-term loans because then it goes from a land loan to a construction loan, and then the outside conventional mortgage would come in and pay off the construction. Right. Um, we always like our new customers to open up accounts and bank with us because we do want them to have a deposit relationship with mm -hmm. the loan side. So we'll work with them on that. Oh, that's great. That's really great. Oh. Neat. Now we, you mentioned land. So what, what type of down payment do you need to have for, for that? So the down payment for a lot loan is 40% okay. and we'll lend up to 60%. And then we will only really look at a lot loan if the customer, our lot loans are good for two years. So they have two years to get with an architect, get with a contractor and figure out what they're gonna build, get it submitted to the planning department, whether it be city 
or county of Santa Barbara or San Luis. And um, so they have up to two years to get ready for the construction loan. And then once they have their plans all stamped and approved, then we'll start talking with flip it to a construction loan. And then the construction loan will pay off any balance remaining of the land loan. So the construction loans are good for one year. So they have one year to build a house and then the conventional mortgage would come in and pay it off. Are you having a big impact with the price of building materials? <laughs> so what are you seeing? They have tripled and quadrupled in the last nine months. And I have spoken to a couple contractors and they do not see the light at the end of the tunnel. They see it, um, prices staying up the rest of this year and probably rolling into next year. And a couple opinions are, yes, COVID slowed down the factories and the, uh, the lumber factories, but mm -hmm. it's not just lumber anymore. There's a shortfall of drywall, copper, plastic, um, and now it's getting perhaps a little political where they know the demand is there. So, so the right. Right. to take advantage right. of that. Not releasing materials. Yes. So needless to say, there's frustration. Um, if there was a, a client right in the middle of their construction loan, um, they're having to go back and look at their budgets. It's that would be tough. Yeah. So now, is there any grace from the you know the bank or the loan itself, like because of the situation? Certainly, yes. Okay. We you know the last thing that we don't want to force them against. We want them to finish building their beautiful home, and so we'll yeah. work with them. Mm -hmm. um, if the construction loan, it's almost a year, and everything had to slow down because of the lack of supplies and the right. maturity dates coming up. We'll look at a ninety day, a six month extension okay. for them. Right. Absolutely. Right. So the last thing we want to do is we don't want their house. We, they want their house. <laughs> so we're going to work with them to get the financing to finish building. Okay, that's great. Gosh. Yeah, it's just amazing how COVID has impacted just, just about every kind of... Everything. It sure has. That it was sure the has. first time I heard about um, they're holding back though on supplies. Yeah. Well, I but I mean I think it makes that's sense. Kind of, yeah, it's yeah. like the toilet paper. There's plenty of yeah. it, but they're just yeah you know, no. Yeah. <laughs> so if someone from the a copper plant or a lumber plant is hearing this, <laughs> <laughs> release that stuff. No, please. Wrong. You're not doing that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was great. That that's was great. Funny. Any other advice you would give? potential clients that they should get prepared for before they see you or um, just you know give us a call whatever loan product they think that they need and they're not sure we're here to answer questions for them and um, we're here to make loans we're aggressive in making the loans and we have a branch um, 1421 South Broadway in the JCPenney Shopping Center and then we have our Great. main office um, on Santa Maria Way right down from the old Kmart building. It's, yes. it's yeah. a story building. That's it's so pretty. I, yeah. I love the yeah. remodel. Yeah, it's, it's nice. really nice. Yeah, and the original Bank of Santa Maria built that building. Really? So, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so okay. It's, it's back with us. That's <laughs> great. Yeah, I it think it was, uh, it changed a couple times, but yeah, no, that's a um, very nice building, and we I drive by it almost every day. Yep, <laughs> me too. Yeah. So, so, Come see me. My name is Wendy Foxen. Uh, you know, we're aggressive in making loans and we make our own decisions and you're dealing That's with great. me personally and we have four other loan officers of the bank if I'm unavailable. That's great. Wonderful. Wonderful information. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Thank you for having me. If you need more information, I can be reached at 805-714-8124. And I can be reached at 805-878-5056. Thanks for watching. See you soon. To see more information, um, go ahead and click on that button and you can reach me at 805-714-8124. And my number is 805-878-5056. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.